So the first thing I'd like to speak about today is uh, self-image, self like uh, body issues or insecurity about your body. Okay, so there's uh, one subscriber she asked specifically uh, for me to do a video on this. And you know, one thing I have found when it comes to any type of emotional or mental suffering, it's really, really important to have humility, okay? The reason why I say humility is because humility is just another word for conquering your own stubbornness, okay? So what I have found with a lot of people that have negative opinions about themselves is that they actually will defend that negative opinion. They'll get mad if you agree with it, but at the same time, they'll defend it if you say, oh, don't worry about that, you don't look that bad, you're, you're perfect the way you are, right? <laughs> They'll almost get mad, right? They'll smile, but in, inside, you can tell, through that polite smile, there's still an internal stubbornness holding on to that uh, absolute judgment, okay? So if you're judging yourself, you have a judgment problem. You know, and, and I know it sounds harsh, but it's, it's not meant to be that way. I, I'm not meaning to sound harsh, but it's about you are judging something and you're saying absolutely, without a doubt, this is the truth. Absolutely, this, this opinion that I have right now is absolutely right. And I'm okay with everyone in the world being right. Everyone can be right. They can hold on to an opinion all they want. I'm okay with that. But if this opinion is making you suffer, at that point, you need to say, okay, maybe there's something I'm not seeing here. Maybe I'm wrong about something because I'm suffering from holding on to this opinion, okay? Now, the reason why this is very complicated for most people is because they have a thought here that says, oh, I'm a horrible person or I'm ugly or I'm fat or I'm, I'm not good enough in some way. Maybe my legs are too short or not too long enough or, you know, whatever it is because uh, your mind can come up with a lot of reasonable uh, <laughs> ways to punish yourself, right? <laughs> and uh, so they seem reasonable to your mind anyway. They're not really reasonable, but they're reasonable here. So you have thoughts supporting the suffering, but then down here you actually have experiences or emotions that are supporting that suffering, okay? So you'll have a feeling right here, and then you'll have a thought that supports that feeling. You know, so you have to attack both areas and realize both are not telling you the truth. Okay, so you'll have a feeling of maybe disgust when you see yourself, or shame, or embarrassment, right? During that time, you would just sit with that emotion, be with it, and watch how your mind comes up with reasons why that sensation is there, okay? So your mind will come up with a bunch of reasons. Oh, I'm embarrassed because, I feel shame because, right? So there's this attachment of experience and thought that goes together. And what we have to do is break those bonds. You have to break them so they become separate and then we can recycle those energies, you know? Because emotions are really thoughts on a lower vibration, okay? They're, they're really just a denser vibration, you could say, okay? So a great practice for you is to look at yourself in the mirror and to notice the feelings that come up and the thoughts. And when the feeling comes up, you allow it to be there. You allow it to be there and realize that it's just energy moving through you. It isn't because of the projection in the mirror. It isn't because of what you're seeing. It's actually just something that's already in you, okay? It's just an energy in you that you suppress that needs to come out. Now, I know a lot of times you'll watch these videos and say, geez, what the heck is Jason talking about? You know, I, I, I feel this way, that's who I am. And I'm saying, no, that's not actually who you are. Those feelings that you think are so truthful, those feelings that you think are telling you the truth, if you are suffering, they are not telling you the truth. You know, that's the best thing I can get you to remember is to know this. If you are suffering, you do not know the truth. The truth is not in there right now especially when it's about something that is an unending, unsolvable problem, right? So this is the body you have. This is what you were born with, right? Like it or, or, or don't like it, this is what you're stuck with. And the funny thing is, is that you go to one culture and this body will be the incarnation of God, and then the next culture, it's the Antichrist, 
right? It's, it just depends on where you are. It depends on where on the planet you are and depends on what the popularity thing is going on in that society at the time, you know? You know, at one point in society, it was fashionable to have extremely overweight women because the chance of survival was much better when they're giving birth. And at the same time, that was the sexiest thing. You know, so what you have to do is, is separate all the stuff that's told to you based on the environment you're in and separate even your own environment, the environment you created, you have to separate even from that, right? You have to find out the truth and the truth will be what remains when the suffering is unraveled and you've let go of the thoughts supporting the suffering, you see? Hmm. So I, I hope this helps you. I hope this helps you understand that your body image issue has to do with a lot of trauma you have felt. Maybe there was conflict because someone in your life probably didn't like that body. Maybe someone said some things and you chose to believe it. You chose. It wasn't because they were saying the truth. You chose to believe what they were saying and say, oh, that's the truth. You see, so your free will, you have to really learn how to use this. You know, when you're using it in the wrong way, you're going to torture the crap out of yourself. Okay. So I hope this helps you a little and uh, leave a comment down below if you want. And, and maybe you can, I can elaborate on a different video if there's a specific sort of part that you want to talk about. But I, I think this should really uh, help clear an area for you. And take care for now. <laughs>